Hello my friends. I hope you had a good weekend. I did. It was nice to be out in the, on the lake for a little bit. Um, today, this week, we're going to the zoo. Yay! And do you know which animal is the only one that's allowed to roam free, that does naturally live, live in the area? I mean, obviously we see sparrows and squirrels and uh, chipmunks because they live um, naturally in the wild where we live. Um, but peacocks are not natural to the Chicago area, um, but they are allowed to walk free in most zoos across America. Um, I guess because they tend to not wander off. So today we're going to make a peacock fan. Yay! Um, you have received some green paper and some blue paper. You've received a piece of orange paper with a sharp needle. Be very careful. You have to have get help from your parents with this. And there is a piece of string already threaded through there. You have also received two tongue depressors say ah, and you have a bowling pin. Nah, it's the body. Um, you also have a little bag with lots and lots of sequins in here. Now, if you want to uh, really go above and beyond, you can use some of the sand that we used, um, is that last week or two weeks ago now? My goodness, time flies. Two weeks ago, I think. Um, you can use some of that for decoration too. You're going to need your glue. You can also use your uh, white runny glue if you have any left So, First of all, you're going to need to fold your papers. Sophie and Pearson, most of your paper has been folded for you already, but I still think that it's good for you girls to try and practice your accordion fold. You're going to probably need your parents' help for that. Um, but, you know, it's um, it doesn't hurt to just try something new. So I'm going to show you an accordion fold. It's very, very simple. You fold your paper down, and it should be a little bit wider than an inch. There, one fold. Now, you're going to fold the other way. Okay, so you're going to turn your paper around and fold. See? Now you have like a zigzag. Can you tell there's a zigzag here? You're going to turn your paper around again and fold. More zigzags. And do the same thing. Just continue to turn and fold and turn and fold and turn and fold until it has all turned into a bit of an accordion. See, so you can pull it out like this. And that is really all that a fan is. Now, once you've folded all your papers, you have two green and two blue, two long green ones and two short blue ones. You're going to glue them together, okay? So let me just show you here, since I already glued my fan, I'm going to just turn my blue paper into two pieces of blue. I'm going to make another little accordion here. If it gets a little bit crooked, it's okay. It's almost impossible to avoid getting a little bit crooked as you keep going. So here we go. I have one accordion and I have two accordions. So you're just going to put glue on one side here. coming down one of the folds. Now, look at this. It goes down, up, down, up, down. This one is coming up. This paper goes up, down, up, down. See, up, down, up, down, up, down. That means we want to glue these two together. Now, it might have gone like this. Both of them coming up. Then they wouldn't be able to stick together, right? So then you just need to figure out how to turn your paper to get them to match. Okay. There we go. All right. So then, once you have glued all of your pieces together, you're going to fold them up. Let me just finish that. You're going to get your needle, or your grown-up is going to get your needle, and thread it through them right down here at the bottom. Just about three quarters of an inch up and all the way through. Then 
it'll be something like this. Put your blues on the sides and the greens in the middle. Okay, this is kind of important for the way it's going to look. So blues on the sides, greens on the, in the middle, and then thread the string through. You don't want to tie it too tightly. Um, you want to make sure that there's room enough for the paper to move into a circle like this. All right, so tell your mom or dad or grown up that when they help you tie the string through. They might have to ease the knot a little bit if they tied it too tightly, but that's okay. It's easy to do with this type of string. All right, once you've done that, it is time to decorate, okay? Use your sequins, maybe your, your color sand. Uh, maybe you could even get some of the white paper that you already have, because I know that I gave you lots of, well, several pieces of white paper to begin with. You can fold it up so it doesn't have to take as long. You can make like little, I think I would like to make sort of leaf or teardrop shaped pieces that you can put glue on to your peacock or your peacock's wing, okay? So I have four here um, and I think um, I will use one of these, glue it, and put it on. The trick is, you're not really going to be able to glue on the front, on, a on the top of a fold, because then when you fold up your fan, it's going to get bent. So you have to glue in between your folds to do that, like that, okay? Peacocks have always been super popular with people around the world because they are so beautiful. But those, but the beautiful ones, the colorful ones, are actually the males, the boys. And um, that is that, of course, is interesting to our society, where men are the ones who do not wear makeup. They don't wear lots and lots of beautiful colors most of the time. Um, but back in the days, and I think we've talked about this before, men used to dress up in very fancy clothes. And then sometimes you would refer to them, oh, he's such a peacock, such a show off with those colors. Three, so I'm just counting my folds to make sure that I kind of put them in at, the, at a regular interval. That's up to you. You decide what you want to do. I'm going to glue another one of these on. I'm only going to do half of this because otherwise you're going to be sitting here looking at me doing... Um, doing the peacock cock decoration for a long, long time. All right, so then on top of my wipes, I think I want to put some of my sequins. You'll find that there are a couple of different types. There are some uh, oval ones that kind of like teardrops. There are circles. There are flowers. And there are different kind of flowers. Then there are some that are just, uh, that are leaves. So there are different ones. Um, you can use them as you please. Um, there are 10 of the ovals, 10 of the circles, 10 of these flowers with the little holes in them, and then 10 that are just kind of different. Um, so whatever you want to do, you do. Okay, I'm going to put one of my little flowers with the holes on. Oops. And they kind of tend to stick together. That's okay. So I'm going to put that on top of my white. Can you see that? Right there. Now, the thing that you want to try and do here is always symmetry. Try to make a nice pattern out of this. Okay. So if you do, if I put a flower on one of my white, drops here that I cut out, I'm going to put a flower on all of them to make sure that it looks nice and symmetrical because nature tends to really be all about symmetry, which I think is really cool. Okay, one last one on here. There. Okay, so that's the beginning of my peacock. I think you should decorate a lot more than I'm doing here because that will make it look really, really nice. Now, your bowling pin or 
your peacock body. The peacock's going to need some eyes, right? So give it some eyes. There we go. And it's going to need a beak. And since you already have this orange paper, you might as well use that for a beak, don't you think? So just cut a little orange snippet off. I don't think peacocks actually have very long beaks. So maybe that one was a little bit too long. There we go. Give it a little beak here. And there's my peacock body. If you want to, you can decorate it um, drawing feathers, feather outlines maybe. Um, I think that would look nice. Mm -hmm. you just use a pen or a marker or a pencil, whatever you like to use. You can use crayons even, all kinds. Okay, so this is my very, very quick doing of it. Okay, now here comes the important bit. You need to actually get this guy situated on top of this here. That's going to be a little bit tricky because, you know, of the folds. So, I am going to take another piece of paper again. So, you are going to need a piece of paper. I'm just going to do this here. Cut a little strip off. It doesn't have to be a long strip. Actually, it should probably be fairly short. You're going to need two of them. So, two strips that are about an inch and a half each. Put glue on. Okay, now this one you're going to put onto the back of your, I always call it a pigeon, onto the back of your um, peacock on the side here. Okay, I'm going to fold it back a little bit as much as you can with the glue. See like this? So I put it glued on here on the side and it's towards the middle. I keep it um, open. I'm going to... Take the other piece here, do the same thing. Okay, so glue half of it onto the back of my peacock. Doesn't have to be centered. So it's really close together. You see how they open up here. Now I'm going to take this little pinch here and just put it around a piece, one of the folds, one of the accordion folds here. I've squeezed my folds together in the back and it is on. So your, your folds are like little pinchers or your papers are little pinchers with glue on, they go down, stick and you're done. Okay, final bit to be done. You need to put glue on your um, tongue depressors and glue them on to your fan. This one. Unfortunately, our tongue depressors are not quite long enough to make it all the way, but they all still work as handles. And now, once they're dry, you have a fan. Ta da! Peacock fan. Good for hot days. It would be nice if our sticks were a little bit longer, but they're not. Too bad. Can't always get everything perfect, but I think this looks pretty cool. And you can even close it up. You can also have it just stand up on your table with its big tail showing. So there you have it, one peacock fan. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, always know that you can have your parents um, reach out to me. You can send an email or you can um, contact me on Facebook and I will be happy to help you out. Have a great day. Have fun with your peacock. I hope that you're going to make it look really, really flashy and beautiful. Bye now.